This is a wife's nightmare and it's just farcical. The family, the office, even the extras, but mainly the family. Get comfortable because this is going to be a long one. I'm Jay Harang and I talk about soft porn and stalker movies. You should subscribe. So we start with this girl sat in her car. This is Caitlin. She's a nervous wreck and she's waiting for this couple to get home. And here they are, Gabe and Liz Michaels. My name's Caitlin Patterson. I'm sorry, do I know you? My mom was a late Elaine Patterson. I know you might not believe this, but I think I'm your daughter. Gabe is a musician and Caitlin's mum was a groupie of his before he met his wife Liz, but now she's dead, so Caitlin's come to find her dad. Now that her mum's dead, Caitlin has nowhere to go, so it looks like she'll be staying with the Michaels family. And here comes their awful teenage son, AJ. He has a serious attitude problem, but more on that later. While Gabe and Liz are talking in the other room, horny teenager AJ spies Caitlin and gets excited, but his demeanour changes somewhat when Gabe tells him there's a chance she could be his sister. Figure it. Great. That's just what we need. Caitlin's like, fuck this. Seems like I'm causing trouble here. So goes back out to her car. But Liz comes out and tells her to get back inside. So bear in mind, AJ knows there's a strong possibility Caitlin is his sister. Look how excited he is when he sees her getting ready for bed. He's a creep. Liz comes up and she's like, you better put this robe on as AJ is a dirty little pervert. AJ hates his mum, by the way. And he's like, cheers, mum. That's ruined my wank. <laughs> This is a theme now. AJ loves Caitlin, but his mum is always hanging around when he's trying to speak to her. Hey. Are you going to be around later? Um, can I give you a ride to school? I can just call Dad's you driving me. Teenagers can be so rude. Oh, you've not seen anything yet. Here's a bit of background. Liz had a nervous breakdown some time ago and has only recently come out of hospital and rejoined the family. She's also about to start work again because Gabe, the musician, doesn't earn any money. Here we are at AJ's school and he's perving on this girl, Jackie. What? I'm oh, not. Nah. Yes, you are. Anyway, his friend, Sean, who dyes the front bit of his hair a different color every day, tells him to go and talk to her. You're the man. Come on, you. you're the man. If by the man you mean a gangly teenager with an attitude problem who looks like he's been hit in the face with a shovel, then yeah, he's the man. Anyway, he doesn't end up talking to her. Caitlin works at this record shop and tells her boss how it went with her dad. Liz has a meeting with her boss, Mr. Tillman, to discuss her return to work. Mr. Tillman is an absolute prick, but more on that later. When Liz gets home, she finds Gabe playing guitar and Caitlin singing along. Can you just give us a minute? Liz tells Gabe that Mr. Tillman is still angry with her for having a nervous breakdown, but he needs her to come back to handle the Nakatomi account. Oh, I see. Oh, God. AJ's home and he's brought Sean with him. They go straight to the couch to play video games and Caitlin comes down. Caitlin? What are you guys playing? Where have you been hiding her, dude? Liz comes out to offer to make them something to eat. We're fine, Mom. And here's where Shovelface takes his rudeness to the next level. Liz is somewhat concerned at the sort of thing that's going on on the couch, so keeps looking for reasons to break it up. Mom, get out of here. What a cunt. Now the family has sat down to dinner, Caitlin tells them she's got a new job today at the record store, even though she's been working there for ages. So Gabe decides this calls for a toast. AJ gets in another mood because Liz tries to limit the amount of wine he gets to drink. Then there's this awkward incident. <laughs> Why would AJ be acting like this? This is one of many strange reactions to let's call it inter-family action that come up in this film. Then look at his face at the end when he sees that Liz isn't enjoying it. He's like, ugh, mum even gets in the mood when dad touches his daughter's tit. What a bitch. Caitlin suggests she takes AJ to an ice cream place after dinner. I don't think that's a good idea. What? It's 7.30. I suppose that's fair enough. Gabe says, yeah, yeah, it's fine. You can go. And Liz gets angry because Gabe has undermined her authority. Ooh. So Caitlin and Shovelface are out walking. And here's where we find out exactly why he hates his mum so much. She's so annoying. She acts like we're one big happy family. And she's like a normal mom that makes her kid a snack. What? This is a freak show. Okay, let's go over this, shall we? She's annoying. She acts like we're one big happy family. And she's like a normal mum who makes her kid a snack. What a horrible woman she must be. This is a freak show. Um, you're the freak show, mate. You're a lanky streak of piss who looks like he's been smacked in the face with a shovel. <laughs> you stare at girls for ages in the school playground, and when you're not perving on them, you're perving on your own possible half-sister. <laughs> True.
Caitlin's like, yeah, AJ, you need to get some perspective. My mum's dead and I live in a car. Next day, AJ and Sean come to visit Caitlin at work and Sean tries it on with her boss. All of this could be yours. Oh my God. AJ walks Caitlin home and says he's been thinking about being nice to his mum, but then he tells her the story of her nervous breakdown. A few months ago, she started going crazy. She just lose it for no reason. And she worked all the time, even when she was at home. What a bitch. Working hard to support a family on a single income. There's a special place in hell for those people. And one night, I got mad at her. I yelled at her. And she actually told me that I was a mistake. Okay, that's not great. That I ruined her life because I made her stay with dad. And dad was a big loser and... Stuff like that. Well, she's got a point there. He is clinging to his career as a musician, even though he hasn't sold anything for over 20 years. Jury's out on that one. You're absolutely right. Sometime later, Liz returns home from the office and Gabe, AJ and Caitlin are having a barbecue. She's really not happy about the way Gabe is touching his possible daughter, especially after the wine slash tit incident. So she says she needs to go to her office and work on the big presentation. This hasn't gone down well with AJ. Later that night, Gabe comes to Liz's office and asks if she's okay. And she's like, no, not really. I'm a bit concerned about how you're touching your possible daughter. Liz, this is absurd. I know we've had our issues with this. This is a new one. This is good. We should bring this up in therapy. <laughs> What? I'm sorry, but this is not how either of them would react when one is convinced and accuses the other of inter-family interference. There's no way either of them would be having a laugh about it. Liz can't sleep that night and hears something downstairs. So she goes down and sees Caitlin getting a glass of water. She notices her laptop is on. And the next day at work, she discovers her files have been deleted. Mr. Tillman isn't particularly understanding. This is how it started last time. Go home. Then look for that file. When she gets home, she sees Caitlin vacuuming. Why are you cleaning my living room? Yeah, you bitch. Then Liz accuses her of deleting her work files. Gabe's like, did you accuse Caitlin of deleting your files? She doesn't even know the difference between a Mac and a PC. Fine, Let, let's assume that she's some kind of secret computer genius. Yeah, because she'd need to be a secret computer genius to delete files, Mac or PC. Why would she erase all of your records, Liz? I don't know. He's like, if you carry on with this crazy behavior, Liz, you're going to end up back in the hospital. Next day at Caitlin's work, AJ shows up. Jackie comes into the shop too, and AJ gets excited. Caitlin decides to help him out with this. This is my brother, AJ. Hey. Hey, Jackie. Jackie's into vinyl too. Cool. This apparently represents success. So, me and my girls got to bounce. Text me though, okay? Caitlin got Jackie's number, and AJ is pretty excited. <laughs> Oh, what a loser! It's like he's never seen another person's phone number before, but he's possibly too excited. Come here. That's disgusting. I can't believe I did that. I... No, AJ, it's okay. I just lost control. Um, no, it's absolutely not okay. You're his half sister. So now we've got the mum thinking the dad is fondling the daughter. Fondling? Yes, fondling. And now the brother is kissing the sister. What is wrong with his family? Later that night, AJ comes into the bathroom and apologizes to his sister for kissing her. It's okay. You're a teenager. Wait, me, it's normal. Come again? Um, no, it really isn't. What sort of family is this? Unbelievable. <laughs> Anyway, Liz overhears them talking about the kiss and she's like, what the fuck is going on with this family? This causes a big argument between Liz and Caitlin and Gabe and AJ walk in on it. Caitlin storms out and hands Gabe an envelope. It's the DNA results. She's my daughter. Liz is at work and it's time for a practice run of the big presentation. Now, I'm honestly not taking the piss here, but give or take a few seconds, this is the full extent of the big presentation that Liz has been working on for days and the sole reason she's been brought back to the firm. This is Nakatomi Village, Lost Valley, Maine. Nakatomi Island, offshore Georgia. Nakatomi Convention Center, Arizona. Nakatomi Lodge, Colorado. Good job, Liz. Very impressive indeed. Beg to differ. But during this practice run, there was a small technical hiccup where the screen went blank and Mr. Tillman started getting in a mood. It's okay though, because all Liz had to do was press the tab key a load of times and it fixed itself. Yes, of course. Cut to Gabe's birthday and Liz has organized a party. It looks like a party for a child, but never mind. There's a heavy focus on this extra, because I suppose he looks like someone who might work in the music industry. Anyway, Gabe's playing the guitar and everyone's loving it. Liz apologizes to Caitlin for her recent weird behavior, and Gabe introduces Caitlin to Sean's brother Paul. But minutes later, he sees them talking and goes mad. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Don't touch Chill him. out. Relax. That's my daughter. And we were talking. Get out of here. Are you kidding? Get out of here, Paul! That is my daughter. Get out. 
Everyone's like, okay, that's a bit weird. That night, Liz tells Gabe he was behaving like a jealous boyfriend and he's like, what? No, I was being protective of my daughter. Liz is like, whatever, Gabe, something's not right here. She kissed AJ the other day, but Gabe manages to somehow blame Liz for this because of the nervous breakdown she had. That's absurd. On the ride to school the next day, Gabe lays down some new family rules. You just can't be kissing Caitlyn anymore, you got it? I suppose that's fair enough, and AJ needs to take this seriously, even though his dad looks like he's about to be fired from a cannon. Back at Liz's work, it's time for the big presentation to Mr. Nakatomi. I know you will be very impressed with what we have put together for you today. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd be too impressed if I'd flown from Japan with a few associates for a minute-long presentation featuring four slides. Anyway, something's gone horribly wrong. The same thing that happened in the practice run has happened again. But this time, even pressing the tab key over and over again isn't working. Oh no! And Mr. Tillman isn't doing a great job of styling it out. So they've lost the account. We couldn't even put together a simple presentation. Well, here's some things you could have done. Number one, checked it was working before they arrived. Number two, have a backup on a flash drive or another computer. And three, hand out paper copies in the event of a technical fault. But none of these things were done, so everyone in the office is equally to blame. Unbelievable. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, Liz is sacked, so she goes to the record store and accuses Caitlin of sabotaging the presentation. You're a liar, you're a liar. She's suspicious of the whole Caitlin thing now, so she goes through all her stuff in her room. She finds the results of the DNA test and calls the testing lab, but the number doesn't work. Oh. Gabe has come to Caitlin's work to see her. She tells him that Liz came in earlier and screamed at her. She wants to know what's going on. I hate myself for what we're doing. <laughs> Goodness. No, it's not as bad as you think, despite some of the stuff that's already happened in this film. Liz has driven out to the DNA testing lab, and there's no lab there at all. So she goes to find some information about Caitlin's supposedly dead mum. Elaine Patterson isn't dead. She's in federal prison. Gabe, where are you? Call me. The DNA results are fake. Yeah, something tells me he already knows that. AJ is at school, and Sean is pretty pissed off about how AJ's dad treated his brother at his birthday party. Well, if your dad wants to get with his own daughter, that's fine. No, it's not. They should leave my brother out of it. So AJ attacks Sean, and he's suspended. When he gets home, he hears some worrying noises coming out of his parents' bedroom. Ooh, that can't be good. For some reason, he goes into the room to see what's happening. Oh, dear. Uh, huh? Adrian! <laughs> <laughs> so it's all kicked off now. Liz has got home and AJ tells her what he's seen. It turns out that Gabe met Caitlin while Liz was still in hospital and their plan was to use the whole lost daughter story to make Liz think she'd gone mad again, get readmitted to hospital and leave the house to Gabe. Ah. Uh. Now, I'm not sure what they'd plan to tell AJ or the neighbours when he was in a relationship with who they thought was his daughter, but let's just ignore that. Anyway, understandably, Liz is furious. She grabs Gabe's Les Paul and smashes it on a rock outside, and this leads to a big family fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta hurt. No! Don't you touch her! All this has taken place in their front yard, and the extras, sorry, neighbours, have come to watch. Liz tells Gabe and Caitlin to get out of her house, and they end up leaving separately, because Caitlin has suddenly realised that Gabe is a bad guy. What? At an unspecified time later, we see AJ, Jackie, who I assume is now his girlfriend, Sean and Liz, all happy together at the house. So they're all better off without Gabe and his daughter slash lover. There's an expression I never thought I'd use. So until next time... Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and check out this other video. Thank you.